Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Welcome to our daily prayers. This week we're looking at famous paintings that reflect on the death and resurrection of Jesus. And this morning we have Christ carrying his cross by Titian. But we begin as usual with our opening prayers. So will you join with me in saying the responses in yellow? O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O oh Lord. I have said you are my God. And we say together, Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So they took Jesus and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of a skull, which in Hebrew is Golgotha. Titian whose little house still sits in a back street of Venice, painted this over 500 years ago. Um, more than any other gospel, Mark records the human suffering of Jesus, not simply the unjust trial, but the beating and the mocking. Jesus, like other prisoners, would carry out his own cross. Usually this is depicted in art as the finished article, but it is more likely to be in practice just the heavy crossbeam. Here, in this picture, the man leaning over is an important man, finely dressed. Look at his ring. Thought to be perhaps the man in charge of the prisoners. He is urging Jesus on. As Jesus stumbles going up the hill, the man steps in to force him to continue. He seems to be tightening the noose, rope noose around Christ's neck to coerce, coerce him. The gleam in his eye depicts the uh, gloating cruelty that his power gives him to enjoy making his prisoners suffer. By contrast, the look of Jesus, the signs of his beating and the tear from his eye, reflects not only his physical pain, but his sorrow for all the wickedness of humanity. He looks out at us to remind us that we are responsible for his suffering. Titian actually painted a mirror image of this painting, but with the man here replaced by the kindly face of Simon of Cyrene, helping to carry Jesus' cross. An image of Christian service, reflecting Christ's charge to us to take up our cross and follow him. Not an appeal to Stoicism that can put up with bunions or arthritis, but a call to self-sacrifice. You might like to reflect this morning on how our own personal sinfulness is included in the suffering of Jesus. The times when we have been wielded petty power, inflicted unnecessary sufferings on others by our words or our actions, rather than showing self-sacrificing love. Take time to appreciate all that Jesus endured because of our sins, and after a short time of silence we will pray together. It seems right this morning to have a prayer of confession, so will you join with me as we say, Lord Jesus Christ, we confess we have failed you, as did your first disciples. We ask for your mercy and your help. Our selfishness betrays you. We fail to share the pain of your suffering. 
We run away from those who abuse you. We are afraid of being known to belong to you. Lord, forgive us. In your mercy, forgive us. Through the willing sacrifice of Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God forgive us through the cross of Christ. Amen. And now a pause for your own private prayers before we join back together with the Lord's Prayer. And we draw our prayers together as we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And we close our morning prayers with the words of the grace that we say together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. <laughs>